Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. So I created a personal web page using Quick and here is an honest review. First of all, who am I? Well, I consider myself a programmer, mainly in graphics programming, full stack development, and a DevOps engineer too. Also, I consider myself a 3D artist, or at least a rookie 3D artist. I'm Mohammed, my nickname is Mohido, and today we will have a programming video. In this video, I will be reviewing quick pros and cons. But before we start doing that, before we start reviewing quick, let's start with answering the very basic question, how to subscribe, I mean, what is a web page? When you visit a website, your browser makes a request to a web server, which is another computer that doesn't have a screen. Anyway, this request is typically for HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other extra files like images, videos, and so on. The web server then sends back the requested documents. And depending on how the web application is set up, these documents can either be static or dynamic. To the difference between static and dynamic documents, or commonly known as static site generations, SSG, or server side rendering, SSR. So first, let's start with the static site generation, SSG for short. SSG involves generating the documents before publishing your website, meaning the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files are pre-created and saved on the server. These files are then served to the browser exactly as they are. They're not changed at all. All front-end frameworks support SSG. Second, we have server-side rendering, SSR. SSR involves creating the documents on the server at the time of the browser's request. This means that each request to the server generates all the documents again. For instance, when you log into your Facebook account, you get unique content that is specific to your account only. Thus, a unique page must be generated for every user. In summary, SSG is great for static content where performance is crucial and the content doesn't change per user. While SSR is ideal for dynamic content that needs to be updated, with each request. Now let's understand what is a web framework. A web development framework is a collection of pre-written code written by some ancient wizard to simplify the development of web applications. The front-end frameworks, for example, provide a structured way to build websites, meaning it takes the website original source code, which is our spaghetti code using the framework, and transform it into documents ready to be shipped mainly CSS, HTML, JavaScript documents, which the browser can understand. So instead of writing raw HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can instead use frameworks like React, Angular, or Quick. Backend frameworks do something similar, but instead of transforming the code into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, they transform it into code that can run on the server. For instance, they can transform the code to JavaScript that can be run with Node.js. Node.js is a tool that allows JavaScript to be executed on the server. Long story short, instead of writing raw HTML for Node.js, you can use frameworks like Next.js or QuickCity. All right, let's talk now about Quick and QuickCity. These frameworks use a concept called resumability. Think of it as serving the web application one tiny byte at a time just what the browser needs when it needs it. Most older frameworks use some form of a concept called hydration, which is like forcing a huge feast into the browser's mouth. The user need to wait until everything is loaded to start using the web application, so it can be slow and clunky in the beginning. However, presumability keep things light and fast by fetching only the bytes that are needed, exactly when they are needed. So. No more stuffing the entire web application into the browser all at once. Now that we covered the basics, let's now see the pros and cons of using Quick. Let's start first with the bright side, the pros. Quick and Quick City are quite easy to grasp and learn. The documentation is clearly written. Even on the getting started page, you will end up creating a dad's joke website that you can put on your portfolio. 100% you will get hired after this. I mean, Look at this, I was going to get a brain transplant, but I changed my mind. <laughs> Not funny. 
And there is a beautiful tutorial environment, which at the moment seems to be broken, but hopefully when you visit it, it will be alright. And the links and other resources will be in the description below. So true that a genius admires simplicity. And setting up Quick is extremely simple. Almost you can set up Quick simply with one line in the terminal. That is npm create Quick latest. You can also change Quick's target or the build target platform with a single line as well. Quick is not unique in that sense, but it was worth mentioning. Also, Quick and Quick City rely on what they call adapters to build the application for a specific environment. You can install, for example, a Node.js or AWS adapters with a single command. Think of adapters as a quick deployment extension or add-on. So, adapters are critical since they provide flexibility to deploy on various platforms like static sites, Node.js, and AWS, which is a very key strength feature in Quick. With a single command, you can build your application for any platform. If you have ever used other frameworks, you'll understand the pain of routing setup and maintenance. Well, with Quick, you don't need to worry about that because Quick uses the directory structure to build its routing system, making it super intuitive and easy to manage. Anything under the roots folder will map to your website page. And let's take an example. The about folder inside the roots directory will map to your website.com forward slash about. And the home folder inside the roots directory will also map to your website forward slash home. And the mojito inside the about inside the roots directory will map to your website forward slash about forward slash mojito. This means that you simply create folders and files while Quick will be handling the rest for you. So it automatically set up the corresponding routes on your behalf. Note that this approach is common among several modern frameworks, not just Quick. So for instance, Next.js also uses a similar folder-based routing system. The strength of using Quick is its fast initial loading since it is built on the concept of resumability. And resumability allows Quick to load only the necessary JavaScript for the initial interaction, making it the fastest loading framework. And subsequent interactions will load any additional JavaScript as needed. Now, this is an honest shout out to the community, the Quix community. There is a whole server on Discord and the community there is quite helpful. I've posted there for help and I get replies within minutes. Big shout out again to the community, not a very gigantic community or a huge one by any means, but it's at least helpful and that's the most important part of a community. Now, that's it for the bright side. Let's get into the dark side, the cons. First of all, Quick is still quite new. And because of that, because it's quite new, there is not much resources on the internet compared to more established frameworks. Also, AI cannot help much, sadly, making solving uncommon issues quite hard. And you know what is even harder than finding resources? Debugging. In some cases, you might run into issues that appear only in production and not in the development server. Trying to debug these issues can be extremely hard due to the serialization and code chunking nature in Quick. For instance, here I have a very simple application. Click the button and it will show two random numbers. This is the production version, of course. And now let's try to investigate the files in the dev tool. So, Open the DevTools, go to the sources. Now, which one is the one responsible for the creation of the random numbers? Finding that is like literally finding a needle in a bush. We can search for the math, for example, math.random, to find the line responsible for creating the random numbers. But in general, debugging this can be a nightmare. Unlike other well-established frameworks, Quick doesn't have many built-in UI-ready components. Actually, there is a UI components library called Quick UI, but it is still very not usable in production. By the time of making this video, 
it has only these components and not a single one of them is in a stable mode. These components look cool. You can visit the documentation page and see by yourself. The link will be in the description below. And again, remember, Quick is still quite new, but it has tons of potential already. And I personally like the framework very much. Now, speaking of UI, since all UI is rendered with JavaScript running on the main thread, heavy operations can block the main thread. Literally, it can kill your page. For instance, if you have a heavy loop or maybe an infinite one, even in a promise, you will be shooting yourself in the foot. So you might say this is a JavaScript limitation and not a quick problem. Well, you're absolutely right in that sense. And this leads us to the next point. JavaScript has web workers while Quick doesn't. And if you are asking what is a web worker? Well, it is a technology that allows JavaScript to implement parallelism, meaning that some functions can run together at the same time. I kind of lied when I said that Quick doesn't support web workers. It actually does. And there is actual package for web workers in Quick. You can find it on NPM. Again, in my opinion, it is not completely stable. Also, the worker package doesn't have a documentation. However, here I have a simple implementation of a web worker example using the quick, the quick web worker package. Simply install the web worker by adding the better IR quick worker latest in your package.json file and then install it by running the npm install command. And now import the worker to be able to use it. Here I have it that whenever the component is visible, it does some very heavy operation like adding two numbers, that's quite heavy, and then updating the state after the numbers are added. Keep your fingers crossed and preview the code with npm rom preview. Note that when I tried to use web worker on my page, I found some issues with building the code, so I just scrapped it. Maybe it was a bug with my implementation or maybe the worker has some limitations, but regardless, here, as you can see, it works for our extremely heavy operation and without any problems. Now, you might ask, should you learn quick? Well, that totally depends on you. If you are already familiar with a framework like React or Angular, ask yourself, why switching to quick? Does the choice of the framework really matter at the end of the day? Does it matter to your needs? Will it change how your page looks, feels, or functions? Finally, this video isn't meant to push you towards or away from learning quick. Personally, I don't regret learning quick. At the end of the day, it's the only framework that I use. And this is it for this video. If you find it helpful, you already know what to do. And salam.